Novia. Um, thank you for joining me on my little stationary shopping trip. It was pretty cool. I um, really, I was really like a kid in a candy store. I was such a geek over everything. Like I just, I just can resist. So let me show you guys what my final haul was. All right. So first up, you guys saw this, like this is literally the only reason why I, why I originally went there and it's to get this ink from Colorverse. It's their one of their USA special inks. They have different ones for different parts of the country, but I wanted the Chi Town ink because look at that shimmer. It's like this gorgeous, like purple black. I typically, like I have quite a few blue blacks, but I don't have like this gorgeous dark purple black ink with the, with the purple shimmer. Like I, I'm excited to watch this and see what this looks like. And the box is so tiny and cute, but I, I'm excited. That's really the reason why I went there because they only had one left and I got the last one. I was so excited. Um, I also, you, you guys also saw me get this guy. It is a passport size tra traveler's notebook from Rustico. I have never heard of Rustico. It comes with its own dot grid notebook and the paper is really smooth feeling. It has one band. Oh no, it has, would you count that as a second band? Maybe, let's see. No, it's, yeah, I guess it's technically two, but I, I'm gonna end up jump banding it anyway. Cause the reason why I bought this was specifically for these guys that I bought these little traveler's notebook um b-sides and rarities they're sticker release paper and i needed a place to put them and i swear i have a passport size um traveler's notebook somewhere from it's a speckled fawn and i cannot for the life of me find it so i ended up buying oh having to buy one of these i obviously cannot fit four because once i try and get like the three sticker books and the notebook in here you can see it like goes over but it will barely get the three the three sticker release books but hey that's all i require it to do the notebook's just extra right um i also bought a pack of the what is it the national park the, the national park um field note set i got the one with the northern lights on it because every time i see northern lights i it, it 
it feels like home. So I made sure to get that one. I also end up getting a Midori MD notebook in A5 size because as you know, A5 is my jam. I have never had a Midori notebook before. Why did I buy this? I do not know. What am I gonna use it for? Again, I do not know. Oh, it's like wrapped in this nice rice paper. I'm gonna leave it on there for now. It has like the MD paper stamp on the front, made in Japan. I'm gonna wrap it back up in its rice paper though, because I don't know exactly what I'm gonna use this for. Um, yeah, and it's grid, I got the grid. And it's blue, that's new. Like it's a, do you see that? I did not know it was blue. The paper feels nice and smooth though. It feels much more significant than either Tomoe. I think everything feels more significant than Tomoe River paper, but um, way more significant than Mystology as well. So this, hopefully this is fountain pen friendly, but I don't know what I'm gonna use it for. Please don't ask, because I, I just, oh, it comes with this. Oh, that's cute. That's nice. But yeah, like, I don't I don't know exactly what I'm going to use this for, because like a true stationary addict, I have, you know, 50 million notebooks and no idea what I'm going to use it for. So I'm just going to toss this bad boy back in its plastic later so that it doesn't get, you know, messed up. And then... The last thing I bought was a Lamy. And I got it in the cream. Medium nib in the cream. It's so pretty. Like, I can't get up. Let me get that little thing off. As usual, it comes with its own little cartridge. Well, it's not little, it's a significant size cartridge. And blue. I do not use these, so what happens as they are, I do not use these. What I typically do is I empty out the ink and I'll put a different color ink inside using a syringe and I'll use the cartridge that way. Um, I actually am going, I actually have a little converter that I'm actually gonna use to put um, some of the Chi-Town ink in. Gotta shake it up first because you wanna get all the sparkles. And then we're gonna see how it writes. Oh, this is nice. I like this. Huh. I This is like only, this is like the second Lamy I've ever bought. I don't even know where the first Lamy is. It's black, cause I'm original. I don't even know where the first Lamy went to. It's in one of my purses. I have a tendency to put pins in my purses and switch them out and leave pins in there. But this, this writes really nice. I'm really enjoying this and the shimmer is, I don't know if you can even see it. It's super subtle and it's not even coming out purple. It's coming out like black. And I just, I love this. It's super subtle shimmer, super subtle. I think that's, this is probably gonna be my new like everyday ink. Like I'm really, really liking this. But okay, that's, that's, oh, you know what else I got that was pretty cool? They gave me a, um, a pin sleeve, a, like a Lamy pin sleeve while I was there, which, you know, awesome. So my little, my cream can sit in there and it goes together nicely. Ooh, I feel so fancy. Now, anyway, let's get to the journaling part. <laughs> because this is supposed to be a shopping vlog thing 
slash haul slash journaling sesh. So let's let's do that. So my planner is not only my planner, I also journal in it when I have the chance. And today we're going to be journaling about our little Chicago trip. So I'm gonna try and use some of my gouache here, as well as the Chi Town ink to make a little journaling spread for, you know, to remember the trip.
right. So there's there's the spread, the journaled spread, with my attempt at um, urban sketching. I mean, I did I did my best. <laughs> this is this is it. Um, as for how the ink responds to Stology paper, there is some shadowing and a couple places you can say it almost bled through but to be fair i push really hard into the paper like you can actually see the indentation from me writing um on this side it did bleed through but that is no fault of the ink that is my fault it was not dry and then i started sketching on it and it um obviously bled through so this this is not the fault of the ink this is user error because i was too impatient to wait for my gouache to dry but that is it i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you guys so much for joining me if you're new here please go ahead and click that subscribe button also you enjoyed this video or anything about this video hit that like button please i'm all about class participation and um if you have any questions go ahead and comment down below i i mean i'm around you know what i mean all right thank you guys so much for joining me until next week have a good one